So I'm Brian Smolik. I'm a 39-year-old American. I live in Portland, Oregon. Yeah, I've liked Malaysia a lot so far. I mean, unfortunately, I've been in the surgery center and just my hotel, which is the Hilton, for about five weeks. But what I have been able to do, I've liked. Well, unfortunately, I've had really bad knees for a long time. When I was a teenager, I tore my anterior cruciate ligament in my left knee. And then in college, I tore my anterior cruciate ligament on my right knee. Over time, because it changes your biomechanics slightly, I had significant cartilage loss on my left knee starting at about age 27. So for 12 years, I've had significant degeneration in my cartilage on my left knee. I also had some cartilage problems on my right knee, which I took care of in the United States. But I came here specifically to get my left knee taken care of by Dr. Saw. Well, I had my anterior cruciate ligament repaired on both my knees in the U.S. I also had a debridement on my left knee, which is just when they go in and clean out the knee. It doesn't really do much, but it gets rid of the loose particles. And then on my right knee, I had something called ACI, where they biopsy your cartilage, they send it to a plant, they grow the, the chondrocytes, and they reimplant them. Unfortunately, they aren't good for extensive cartilage damage. They aren't good on the trochlea and the patella, and it brings your knee from about maybe a 50% knee to about a 75 to 80% knee. So it doesn't create the hyaline cartilage that you could potentially do with stem cells. Well, unfortunately in the U.S. I have almost all the cartilage gone on my trochlea and on the patella. I have moderate arthritis. I have these things called osteophytes, which is these bone deformities that grew. And um, on both of my condyles, I had cartilage degeneration. So in the U.S. it was pretty much not treatable. So at age 39, they were going to tell me I had to have an implant or a knee replacement. I didn't think those were viable options. So for the last three years, I've been researching cartilage regeneration through lots of different sources, meeting with different doctors, going to different centers, and, um, and almost all solutions other than this one I found to be suboptimal. There's that ACI procedure I mentioned to you before where they biopsy your knee cartilage and send it back. In Europe they do something called Macy, which is a variation of the same thing, but basically they implant the cells in a gel, but you, in the end you get the same results. Another option what, is they can implant cadaver cartilage so that someone who's recently died, they take their cartilage as donor tissue and put it back in, but unfortunately those results aren't very good either. They're okay, they improve the situation, but it doesn't really make it better. There's also something called plugs where they can fix little tiny lesions. And in the end, they couldn't really do everything that they can do here, and so I thought this was the best option. Well, I mean, I've only actually visited doctors in the U.S. I mean, I, I, I visited a doctor in Santa Monica. I visited the Hospital for Special Surgery in New York. I have alluded to meet, meeting Dr. Broyles down in Louisiana. Um, I did calls or telecom after saying my MRI with a doctor in Milan, Italy, um, a doctor in Zurich, uh, Switzerland, and um, I exchanged emails with someone in South Korea and in Singapore. With the power of the internet though, you can research what's happening in cartilage anywhere. There's a society called the International Cartilage Repair Society, and every 18 months, every 18 months or so they have a meeting and they publish essentially everyone's cartilage research that's been happening over the last year and a half. So you're able to kind of keep tabs on who's doing what in terms of research and where things are progressing. And again, I mean, in my opinion, I think this is the for the Solana of any cartilage procedure that's out there currently. There are a couple doctors in the United States who've just started trying to replicate what Dr. Saw is doing. There was a Dr. Broyles who's in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, who's trying to do somewhat of a variation of this. Wake Forest in the United States, which is a university in, in North Carolina, is starting up a clinical trial. And then there's a doctor in Alaska named David McGuire who's also trying to start it. So I talked to all three of those centers who spent a significant amount of time here. Most of them spent about three weeks here seeing what Dr. Saw does and trying to replicate it. So rather than being patient number one or two there, I thought it was better to come here and be patient number 300. So he has the most experience of anyone in the world with stem cell technology. In Singapore, they're doing it slightly differently, where they take stem cells out of your hip and put it under a scaffold, but that hasn't had as good of results as what Dr. Saw is having. That procedure is having results more similar to that ACI and MACI. And Dr. Saw, the way he's doing it by using your peripheral blood stem cells is actually creating type 2 collagen, which is kind of the holy grail and cartilage regeneration is actually real cartilage as opposed to fibrocartilage, which is what all these other procedures are doing. So because of that, he can help fix problems that have previously been unfixable. He, uh, he can fix massive uncontained lesions, he can fix bone-on-bone -bone lesions, he can fix multiple lesions, 
And if you talk to the patients, they seem to be doing very well after one or two years, and the side effects seem to be somewhat limited. So, I mean, the reason why I decided specifically to come here was either do nothing, get some sort of implant, metal implant in my knee, which I didn't want to do, or wait for another technology to develop. There are other things that are maybe coming down the pike in the next one to two years, but this is the only one that could potentially help me now. And I felt comfortable with the research he had done. And as I alluded to, I talked to three centers in the US, which made me felt like it could help my particular condition. And I thought if it didn't work, the downside would be somewhat limited. I'd still be better than I was before, and it probably wouldn't do any harm to the rest of my body or anything like that. You can't really understate how innovative this technique is and people have been trying to create hyaline cartilage for 20 or 30 years and no one's able to do it. Saw is really the first one to be able to do that and treat effectively conditions that are as difficult to treat as this. Everything here has been world class. Everyone's been very professional and hands-on. Everyone's been very involved. Um, there's a lot of physio involved afterwards I'm, and I spend anywhere from four to six hours here a day kind of going through all the mechanics there. Dr. Saw comes and talks to me all the time, and when I was in the ward, I thought that was great. There's a good restaurant downstairs, so that was good too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, time will tell in six to 12 months when my knee is fully recovering, but so far I've been happy with how things have progressed and I would do it again. Yeah, they do everything here to try and make you feel as comfortable as possible. I mean, unfortunately, you feel uncomfortable because you've had drillings in your knee and it's very swollen for the first three or four weeks, but they do everything to try and subside those symptoms and get you on the recovery path. Yeah, I would recommend, I could recommend coming here because I think this is the best procedure to fix your cartilage. What, what do I think about this center so far? It's been great. So obviously it's hard to tell so far how my knee specifically is going to do, but I've been happy with the care I've gotten so far. Everyone's been very friendly. Um, very, people have been very involved and I've had a lot of hands-on attention. It's been a world-class center and I'd do it again. I'm a little over six months post-op right now. It's good. It's a slow, steady progression. It doesn't happen all at once, but I would say week over week, month over month, things have been steadily improving, so I've been happy with that. Right now, there's no difference because my damage in my knee was quite extensive. Because of that, I've been held back in terms of what activities I can do. Right now, I bike and I swim, and those were things I was doing before the surgery, but the idea is hopefully in another six months or so, I'll be able to do a lot more. Yeah, I think so. If you look at the history of other patients here, you've seen steady improvement out to two years. So I'm only six months right now, so it's still pretty early. The MRI machine, I think it's one of the neatest things I've seen for MRIs in the U.S. When you go to an MRI machine, they're big and bulky. They take up a massive room, and it's claustrophobic. Usually, there's an open MRI, but there's also a closed MRI. And here, you only stick your knee in. So the room you're in is a lot smaller because it takes up less space, but also the only thing that's enclosed is your knee. I like it. It's pretty exciting. The uh, femoral condyles, I had damage on both sides. Those have basically totally healed. The patella is healed, and then the trochlea where I had extensive damage, my entire trochlea was shot. That is still in the process of healing, so the cartilage hasn't totally formed there yet. Right now, it looks positive, and I had an osteophyte that had formed. He shaved that back, and now that is healed, and cartilage is growing over it, and it's gone, and that's, people would be pretty amazed by that. If I had to do it again, I would. As I said previously in my prior interview, uh, my treatment options were very limited given the massive amount of cartilage I had lost. And I feel like here at least I'm on a progressive path to improving and, and enhancing my quality of life. It's world class care, everything is totally integrated here and I would do it all again. Physiotherapy here has been really good I and mean, one of the neat things about it is that it's totally integrated. So you have the exam rooms, right next to where you're having a physio, so Dr. Saw is fairly involved with all the physiotherapy that's going on, and he's constantly interacting with the physiotherapists who are obviously always with me. Mm -hmm.